Yo, what is going on guys? This is Roger from OTR Gamer TV. And before I start this video, I want to just say thank you to everyone who subscribed to our channel. And let's get this video to at least 10 likes. I know we're going to get more than that, but we'll see. Um, in this video guys, we're going to be talking about what's actually new in The Crew 2. Now, we've made a lot of car lists, we made boat lists, we made other, other things, but let's actually talk about what's new. So apart from the boats and planes, What's actually new in the crew too? I'm talking about vehicle wise. So without further ado, let me tell you what cars are actually new in the crew two from the first one, the crew game. Okay. Now we've got the Aston Martin Vulcan. Guys, this car's beautiful. I mean, it's hard to disagree with how look how good this car is, and I can't wait to drive it. This car was not in the crew, but it's been an additional new feature in the crew two. Not even a feature, guys, it's a new car in the crew two. Now what else is new? We've got Audis. Yes, guys, you asked for Audis. We asked for Audis in my previous video. I think we, we messaged the crew at Ubisoft and we got a response about uh, Audis. Well, this is the response. This response is from the crew to new Audis being added. We did get an official response saying that they won't be adding any new cars to the crew, but be sure that they're working on a new game. I'll put that link in the uh, link in the description of that video and that response so what Audis have we got in the crew to so far this is what has been revealed but bear in mind guys Ubisoft love to bring out DLCs because they love to take your money my money everybody's money but if they're bringing out cars like this I don't mind so they have the Audi RS5 DTM now I'm pretty sure this is the touring car version of the original RS5 and I'm also pretty sure that they will be bringing out the Audi RS5 normal version because they have two types of specs like they do in the cover photo you'll see they have a touring car spec or as most of us crew players know it as circuit spec and then they've got a perf slash street slash uh, street spec so i'm pretty sure they're going to bring you an audi rs5 normal well we've got another audi tt rs 2017 now this car looks so beautiful man i can't like i really want to drive this car in the crew this is going to be one of the beautiful cars to drive around guys just look at it i mean we could literally do an audi cruise but then it wouldn't really be enough for us i'm hoping that this will come in the circuit version or touring car version as many of you would know i don't know maybe maybe not but so far this car looks like a perf a performance spec car looking nice pretty good and i'm excited and this is actually in the game but so far, that's the only new Audis in the game, which, to be honest, the way I see it is they will be bringing out more. I know how Ubisoft are. They love their DLCs. Now, another new thing that they'll be bringing out is this custom-made F1 prototype vehicle. It's basically a Formula 1 car, but because, of course, to get the rights for Formula 1 is going to be a lot, and I don't think you'll only have one car in there, so Ubisoft did it pretty smart. It's something that Rockstar did back in um, the Midnight Club days. They would make cars look like real cars like you've got uh celine's if you go to midnight club 2 if i can get a picture i'll show you they have a celine but they call it i think velocity or something like that if i can remember correctly but yeah so this is what ubisoft done they took an f1 car made it their own and called it a proto beautiful car fast car and if you've seen the gameplay it looks amazing sounds amazing as well um yeah, that's actually a good thing. You know, I don't mind if, if uh, Ubisoft be bringing out cars that they make themselves and just throwing it out there. If, if, if that allows them to avoid the licensing fee, then why not? I mean, GTA gets away with it, so why not, you know? Let me know, guys, in the comment section below, actually. If you don't mind having cars that are basically replicas, fake versions of real cars, I mean, think about it. We can get a fake Bugatti in there, just how GTA has a fake Bugatti in there, you know? That would be amazing. I wouldn't actually mind that. But, yeah. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that. Moving on, what else is new in this game? So, in the crew, they had, not really Porsches, they had uh, cars called RUFs, right? Now, in the crew too, they're bringing out official Porsches, right? So, there's a few of them in there, a, a, a large few of Porsches. And you've got the main one that's been shown is the Porsche 911 GT3. Beautiful car, guys. Loving it. I'm glad they're bringing out real Porsches. You've seen this in the trailer. You've seen this in gameplay. 
nice car but remember there will be a lot more Porsches guys I'm telling you now because I think I've seen one in the game cover but if I can find that picture I'll show you Porsches is the new thing that's going to be added to the game um, what else what else what else going through this list okay there's a few bikes that are new one mainly is the Harley Davidson Iron 883 2017 guys I've driven um, I've done, we've done a biker squad in the crew with a few of our subscribers and let me tell you that was fun driving a bike in first person mode is amazing you don't understand the thrill the turns the speed that you go out in a bike and you can avoid avoid traffic close collisions it's just amazing so I, I'm looking forward to the new bikes in the crew too now this this car that I'm gonna mention right now is another new addition and not a lot of people believe that it's in the game but it is the 2015 Honda Civic is going to be in the Crew 2. It's part of the official Crew 2 car list. You can Google it. You can go anywhere you want. It's there. What I, what, what I read was that this car was accidentally leaked as one of the rewards that you get from playing the Crew. You know how the Crew uh, have the rewards program to unlock 18 new vehicles in the Crew 2. The Honda Civic was accidentally put up. As I think the 18th or the 15th car, and obviously that car hasn't been released yet, so Ubisoft got a bit pissed off, took it down. But obviously before that was taken down, people, you know, they screenshot it. Once it's on the internet, guys, it's out there. So the Honda Civic is confirmed. For those of you that were asking in one of my videos, yes, it is Honda Civic in the game. You know that's going to be a beast level car, and I want to race that. And I'm pretty sure the sound, which is another new thing, I'll get to that as well. The sound is going to be absolutely amazing. Now, what else? We've got the, I don't even have to pronounce this guy, so please correct me if I'm wrong. We've got the Ikla Jimco Buggy. So I'm going to just call it a buggy. New car, off-road vehicle, going to be crazy with uh, playing that with about four or five people cruising around in the mud and that. Um, that There is something similar to this in the crew, but it's a hot rod type of vehicle. It's not really a buggy. But then again, it is a new feature. And the crew two are bringing out new things. So I think we've got a few new things already. Moving on, new cars. Let's go. Another car that's been added to the crew two that wasn't in the crew is the Ford Focus Mark III. Now the crew had an old Ford Focus, and this one is the new one. It looks good, guys. Look at it now. It's also going to be available in off road as well. Now guys, so we've gone through what what new cars are in the crew too and what's different compared to the first original game, the crew. Now this is another main thing that I want you guys to to realize. The crew too has actually fixed up and actually upgraded a lot of the graphics. They've changed the map and all that. But what I really wanted to include the changes, the major changes that a lot of us crew players have complained about is car sounds. Now just listen to this Mazda RX-7. Did you hear that? What a monster of a car. Hit that like button if you think that car sounds absolutely beast. I'm telling you guys, that car is, oh my God. When I heard that, I was like, wow. Wow, I cannot wait to get this game because now the cars actually sound real. That's another thing the Crew 2 did. They literally took their time out to uh, to listen, test engine sounds and actually get the recordings on point. Because they know that this is when, what they did with the first one. The Crew, like if you listen to Crew sounds, guys, the cars sound so almost all of them sound the same. You've got little tweaks between muscle cars and most of the muscle cars sound the same. Most of the the exotics like the Paganis and the Lambos sound exactly the same if there's no really differences that you can tell the AMGs sound so weak they don't really sound like AMGs but in this game guys brand new updated sounds that is one of the main things that I wanted to touch upon in the crew too so guys hit that like button if you think I've missed something that's new in the game obviously put it in the description or in the comment section below I know we've covered both some planes I don't really want to talk about in this video I really wanted to focus on what's new what cars are actually new that's been revealed so far and you hit it so we've got new Audis we've got a new Aston Martin we've got a Honda Civic we've got a new bike and we've got actual Porsches instead of the RUF brand that we had before so hit that like button guys if you found this video informative 
if you're looking forward to the crew to hit that like and subscribe button make sure you share this video guys because you know we're gonna get there we're gonna get a lot of requests for the crew too we're gonna be subscribed we're gonna be playing with most of our subscribers in the crew too guys this is the journey from the crew to from otr gaming tv like comment share subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace